Welcome back. It's now time for your midday sports report. Now, bottom of the table, Jamaica Scorpions electing to bowl at sports time had leaders Guyana Harpy Eagles tottering at 74 for four in the postland session on a day one of their fourth round clash in the regional CWI four-day championship at Providence Stadium. Marquino Mindley has so far taken two for 12, while Jay Shields and Derville Green are the other wicket takers. Former West Indies under-19 player Kevlon Anderson has so far top scored with 36. The Scorpions, who are yet to win a match, have suffered two defeats in the first three rounds. Former West Indies fast bowler Tony Gray believes that the Windows selectors got it wrong in the third and final ODI against South Africa on Tuesday. The Windies went down by four wickets to the hosts in their third ODI to draw the series 1-1. Gray, who was speaking on the Mason and Guest show in Barbados with Andrew Mason, says an additional pacer was needed. I don't think that we have the potency that we need and Shannon Gabriel needed to play in this one to ensure that um, a very Joseph got that uh, mm -hmm. support with pace and bounce. And a former Barbados Cricket Association member, Hartley Reed, who was speaking on Hits92FM's Sports Grill, shared the same view. He doesn't do anything but bowl. He's a fast bowler. He's our fastest bowler outside of um, Azari Joseph. So if you're going to tour with him at 34, 35 years, he has to play. Or not, or not you're just wasting time touring with him. Some football now. Two all Premier League matchups will highlight today's round of 16 fixtures in the Link Cup National Knockout Football Competition. League leaders Arnett Gardens will host Portmore United at the Anthony Spaulding Sports Complex in St. Andrew, while Vare United will tackle Mount Pleasant at the Wembley Centre of Excellence in Clarendon. In other games on the day, Harbourview play host to Falmouth United at the Edward Siago Sports Complex in Kingston, while Treasure Beach will take on Dunbar Holden at Treasure Beach in St. Elizabeth. All games are set to kick off at 3 in the afternoon. Former Arsenal, Real Madrid and Germany midfielder Mesut Ozil has retired from football at the age of 34. Ozil won nine trophies during his club career, including four FA Cups and the Spanish La Liga title in 2012. He also won 92 caps for Germany and was part of the team that lifted the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. Ozil began his career at Schalke and Werder Bremen before moving to Real Madrid in the summer of 2010, winning La Liga, the Copa del Rey and the Spanish Super Cup. He joined Arsenal for a then club record fee of £42.4 million in September 2013, winning back-to-back -back FA Cups in his first two seasons before being named Player of the Season in his third, and then winning the Cup again in 2017. And that's it for your midday sports report. Shane? And that's the midday news. I'm Shane Masters. Join us at 7 for primetime news. On behalf of the news, sports and production teams, have a good afternoon.